Final Fantasy VII, often considered the greatest game of all time, much to the angst of some gamers, it's hard to deny that it is at least worth a play. Of course, this is the internet and some jerk will deny everything, but I liked it. And this is my show, so that's all that matters. One of the most famous scenes in the game is where Eris is killed by Severoth, which would have been a huge plot twist had I not heard so much about it before I'm playing the game. Curse you, internet! Curse you! Anyways, after this, gamers were sad, and they wanted to believe there was a way to bring her back. So, theory started. Warning, this episode is very nerdy, so be cautious. Anyways, the theory I'll be covering goes like this. The things you'll apparently need to revive her are four tissues, one mastered revive materia, the buster sword, a large amount of playing time, and a PC or PlayStation version of the game. Apparently, the revive materia can gain AP even after it's mastered with interesting results. It can, apparently, go to level 4 despite the fact only three levels are displayed. To get to the next level, you have to obtain a ridiculous amount of AP after the revive has been mastered. Eventually, you will get another spell for revive. What spell? Resurrect. Next, you go to Eris' house. Go to her room next. You can cause an important series of events if you use the four tissues. If you do, Cloud will cry and say, Why did you have to die? After this, the rest of your party comes out and Cloud, Cloud talks with them about reviving Eris. They're skeptical at first, but later agree. They suggest you visit the Midgard Church. On the way to the church, use the save point to access your PHS. Make sure your party includes Kate Smith. Kate Seth. Enter the church. Two children will ask where the flower girl is. Obviously, that's Eris. Then they'll notice the cat, Kate Seth, in your party. Leave the children with him. Then a ghost of Eris will appear. She will mention the resurrect spell until you get to go to Ancient City. Get Kate Seth back and go there. Then go to the spot where Boogie Hagen inserted the key. Here, Cloud will remember what Eris told him and whips out the revive materia. He says, I never got to tell you, and then cries. Yeah, this theory is heavy on crying. Cloud will then place the materia on the pedestal. It glows super duper bright, and then a ghostly image of Eris appears and tells Cloud to go back to the Midgard church. Eris gets out of the flower bed, and boom, she's back. Of course, this is a huge lie. Eris is dead in Final Fantasy VII. End of story. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and send me a couple requests for future episodes.